Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfield's gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Good lad. Here, have this gold piece. My advice to you, don't get tied down to one woman. Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. Oh, come here, my little sand goose. It's so romantic. Oh, I love it when you say that. Why don't we go some stuff? <laughs> I wish the tavern opened a bit earlier. I'm dying for a point. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to fine folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here, guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face, for only three gold pieces. Maybe later, but hurry before I eat them myself. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Get your miscellaneous items here! <laughs> Many lovely things! <laughs> right, got you, you little ruffian! I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Accessory to improper man and lady, that sort of behaviour is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. Honestly, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? 
If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm going to turn him into Balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! <laughs> you know, You're a real tell test it. of this guard's patience, Sonny. I tried buying some fruit off that travelling trader, but he's only got fattening things. Lovely things! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, thank goodness! Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. Mike, quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. <laughs> Like a lemon. But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Sorry, son, not the time for you now. Sorry, son, not the time. Sorry, son, not the time.
Hmm. I'm a man of my word. So, here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Might as well play as much as you can. It's back to school tomorrow. You filthy swine! I ought to chop them! You little swine! I thought we had a deal. Who is she anyway? Some tart from the... I'm great. You filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off. Don't insult me anymore! My mother was... You never see any heroes around here, do you? Ooh, you're lucky I've still got... Quickly, give me food. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday for me now. I'm hearing of your mischief rather regularly. Shall we remind ourselves? Destruction of a person's vegetables. Accessory to improper man and lady behavior. Do you realize the trouble you'd be in if you weren't such a little one? Now go and keep yourself out of trouble. He'd steal your apples as soon as up here with your chores. Hmm. I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. I see. So you finally got your sister a present. Well, go and give it to her then. you being bad. What will your mother say?
Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <sighs> 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 It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand.
Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Finally prized your... All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. <laughs> ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs 
or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin.
Get out of bed, Lazybone. We were supposed to meet the Guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Late again. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. Lucky shot. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, oh, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Wrong whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. A couple of minor mistakes, but otherwise good work.
Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Are you ready for your archery training? Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. the arrow. The longer you pull back the string, the more powerful your shot will be. Well done! You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power, firing rate and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Get your bow out. That's nice to see. Not too good. You need more practice. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfalls. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right. Let's see what you've got. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You will only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. Excellent use of magic. 
Well done. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods, if you wish to join her. I hope you're ready. Truly mastering a hero's skills takes years of practice. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years the guild was his home, his school and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Excellent! And finally, cast lightning at me! enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test, and you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. 
The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring, and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. Master, a powerful man. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Check the guild for... Remember, following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. Anything? What happened? Balverine attack. Wasps are attacking the picnic area. Follow me. Follow me. You want to get to the harvest clock? Follow me! You little snot bag! You know nothing of the world! 
Hurry! It's this way! Please! You... for saving me. I'm going to tell everyone about you. You've received a new quest card. Chicken chaser. chaser are you? you chase chickens. Well, you thought you'd have bigger hands. Grim or what? Oh dear. My lord, look at Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. House of Ape Rags. You little snot bag, you know nothing of the world. Look at this filthy pile of rags. He really expects people to give him gold. Great. Try belching at him. It's just so funny. You too. Look! Oh, now you decide to talk to me. What's up, out of belches? It's bad enough putting up with that damn kid without you... 
You must be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. Uh. Ah, not a me. You dirty old fool over there. You know nothing of. Ah, you're as bad as that stinking beggar. Oh, I'm out of here. Ha ha ha! Funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. Oi! You're new here, aren't you? We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Ah, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Have a good stay. Over here. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes, I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? of the raid on Oakvale. Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor, your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. 
And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Check the guild for more quests. Someone took a dislike to you. Quick, follow me. Let me guess, looking for items of combat. Impressing anyone you know. Sky is really pretty. Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. It's me boy. My poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these. these strange mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry, but she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Body is made out of sugar. I hope I don't fall into a cup. 